everyone. This is Professor Sujata Sharma. I'm the uh, founding president of uh, BioFootprints. And today we have uh, a very, very valued guest with us. Uh, somebody I always wanted to invite. It was my dream to invite Dr. Gurpreet S. Gulati. He's somebody who has been so inspiring, so motivating, somebody who's followed his passion, something that we all just dream about but can never dare to do. He's done that amazing, amazing thing. So before I delve into his uh, story, let me first invite him to sing a song for us so that we can get started. Uh, thank you so much to Dr. Sujata and to all the listeners for uh, you know listening to this uh, channel. Uh, Dr. Sujata has been a very dear friend of mine and uh, it's a really an uh, honor for me um, besides you know getting to connect with her personally after such a long time uh, virtually of course but at least I can see her. Um, so um, my story is um, yeah it's it's an unusual one um, but you know I thought I'll just introduce myself by telling you what I currently do which is make music and I'll just uh, sing a few lines from one of my recent songs which released this year. It's called Behene Do and uh, the song basically is about finding new unexpected love and how you want to just flow or let's say Behene Do with the moment. So. Wonderful. Aaj phir hui jo barish Jaisse koi haseen saazish Hai ye dil ki गुजारिश ये लम्हा बहने दो मुझे बाहों में तुम रहने दो कैसे ये सब गया बदल न सोचा था आएंगे ये पल थम गया था जैसे मेरा कल नई राहों पे चलने दो मुझे बाहों में तुम रहने दो ये लम्हा बहने दो बहने दो अपारी रा 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 री रा परारी रा 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 री रा Pari ra 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 ri ra, para ra 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 ri ra ra. Just a little bit. Amazing, 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 mesmerizing. I was lost, lost, you know, absolutely. As always, it gets a bit of, you know, it gets kind of heavy after this. थोड़ा सा मेलोन कली भी है इसमें. अच्छा. मुझे लगा अब हम यहीं पे रुक जाते हैं नहीं तो फिर लोगों का मूड थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट हो जाएगा. I loved it as always. I love your voice. I love the way you play. It's just wonderful. So uh, I'll get started with your introduction. Uh, Dr. Gurpreet is a doctor turned singer, songwriter, composer, producer, and performer. Can you believe this? He completed his MBBS and MD in radio diagnosis from MAMSI in the year 1999. And in the same year, he joined the cardiothoracic center at Ames, New Delhi. And uh, then he took retirement as professor in 2019. And when he did that, people like me, we were absolutely amazed, impressed, though we felt really sad that we we're going to miss him in Ames. But this was such a brave step because he's always been interested in music. I remember even during uh, his, uh, uh, you know, while he was here in Ames and it was a very grueling uh, professional schedule. He had co-founded Kala, um, Ames Kala Sangam and Ames Got Talent that in Ames Got Talent, I met him and I even mentioned about him in my book, A Dragonfly's Purpose. He was, you know, one of the most genuine people who guided me a lot. And in less than two years, he has released 11 songs while some of these deal with social and health issues. Some of the rest are all in mainstream too. His work has been featured in TV, radio and print media, including Monkey Bath. Now that is so, so amazing. So let's get started with the with questions which I always had in my mind, uh, Dr. Gurpreet, and I'm finally getting this wonderful chance to ask you in front of so many people. So what were uh, the early influences in your life uh, because of which you, I feel, are different from 
everybody that I've seen so far, which influenced you for your music and to take such, uh, you know, brave steps. Uh, actually, quite a lot of people uh, helped uh, shape me into what I am today. Um, so there are some pivotal personalities which I would like to specially mention, which is uh, my mom, uh, my elder brother, uh, my chemistry tutor, my private tutor, and wow. there's a bunch of Western musicians who I used to listen to, who you know influenced me. Um, why my mom? Obviously, you know everybody looks up to their mom, but um, I especially like her because um, the kind of discipline. And the, uh, you know, just to keep working hard for whatever you want to do. Um, she's a doctor herself. Uh, oh. She She's a passionate gardener, a oh. passionate cook. And I, she used to spend many hours, even when she was working in the hospital, okay. teaching me biology when I was in school. All right. Uh, so I really look up to her when it comes to, you know, doing any task with uh, discipline and passion. Okay. Um, but she's a perfectionist. I am not, and I'm happy not being so, but you know, so the other things I'm really, really, really uh, inspired by her. Okay. Um, so my brother Manpreet, who is interestingly is also an Amazonian, mm -hmm. uh, besides being a great friend, um, you know, he helped develop my own taste in Western music. You know, I'm talking about, you know, those days when it was in the eighties and yeah. 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 So, uh, we I had a cassette, know. we had a cassette player and yeah. he would go to great lengths to you know, get the cassettes having um, songs from, you know, the albums of many of the great Western uh, musicians and bands. And I mm. uh, used to, you know, go and actually to the market and have the songs recorded from yeah. different albums. That was the time and, when we used to do that. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We are the same, you know, same category. So yeah. we used to spend a lot of hours singing along to Michael Jackson and Eagles and Carpenters and all this time. Right. And, uh, yeah. So, but obviously after MTV and, you know, when we used ah. to so, see those Grammys on TV, but before that, you know, even, so my brother, I'm really, you know, thankful to have uh, gotten me into that, you know, develop my taste in Western music. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, he also encouraged me to participate in the Ames Pulse singing competition. Okay. Um, so I actually won that. So that really gave me a boost. Uh, at that, time. that was a sign, right? Yeah. That was a kind of, you know, that spark that yes, maybe there's something in what I'm doing. Right. But I didn't know time this So my right. chemistry tutor, Mr. Yeah. Suri, you know, so um, he was an extremely selfless and really inspiring person. And he was a who saw that ability in me, which very few people did, you know, and he went to great lengths to ensure that I did well in this subject, which I wasn't really good at. Right. I remember that uh, he used to call me separately from mm -hmm. the batch. Right mm -hmm. in the morning at around 3.30 a.m. Oh. You come to me, to my house. Oh, sir. They were ready. Mm -hmm. And even when he was in, you can't believe it, Sujata. He was in his bathroom. Okay. And he used to keep telling me, I have to ask you a question. I have to answer you. I have to ask you a question. Just to save. You no, know, so that we had those right. one and a half, two hours before he used to, when I used to go to school. I mean, that's the kind of dedication. Right? Yeah, so. And, and belief in you, right? And he taught me never to give up. You know, and always believe in one, in myself. Of course, as I said, musically, I'm heavily inspired by a lot of musicians. Uh, they shape the music that I make even today. Right. Like, you know, Don Henley and uh, from the Eagles. Then there's Jimmy Page, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. Okay. There are the Beatles. There's Bob Marley. There's B.B. Uh, King and, you know, guys like Red Hot Chili Peppers and Jethro Tull and like countless more. You so know, I listen, to, I listen to so much music. Even now, I think that's the biggest source of learning and inspiration for me. So, yeah, I mean, more or less, these are the, you know, main personalities or, you know, let's say people yeah. who, who shape the kind of person I am. So, um, Gurpreet, you know, I was going through your uh, write-up and uh, this is something that I really want to know because, you know, like I said before, we all have passions, but uh, because of some societal pressures and conditioning, we get into our professions and we uh, keep them aside as hobbies. We sometimes remember them, but we are like, Let's keep that aside. Hame kaam karna hai and all that. Yeah. But you, nine years ago, you said you found your inner calling when you went to a trip, uh, right? Uh, to San, yeah. uh, San Francisco. I really want to know what happened there. Really tell me. Because you yeah. have not mentioned what happened there. I can't tell you. Some people say that you got a girl there. 
<laughs> but no 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 uh, so <laughs> it's it's an interesting story uh, as cliched as it may sound but yeah it's interesting um okay. so i was you know singing and playing guitar during my first few years of medical college or uh, for professional reasons you know and then obviously family and kids i gave up playing completely for almost right. 20 22 years in between okay uh, but as you said in 2013 when i was exactly i think just hmm. going to be 41 Okay, uh, and I was kind of at the peak of my career, hmm. so I was on a trip to SFO for a medical conference. Okay, and uh, one morning, you know, Golden Gate Bridge is something which everybody goes to visit. So, man, I thought, "Chalo, I'll go there. I have some time before the meeting starts." And I just happened to carry my notes diary with me, hmm. and so there are, there are benches laged on the side. Okay, lush green and so much serenity, and of course, the waters in front of you. so all of this you know sort of inspired me you know and so i just sat and wrote a poem uh, which when i abhi tak usko gana nahi banaya but i plan to make it into a song so when i was writing that you know this was really an epiphanic moment okay uh, so in that particular you know situation mm. i just looked at myself mm. and i thought ki boss where are you what are you doing mm. why are you doing where are you going mm. so i think that maybe the grueling pressure of the job you know that was getting to me uh, so right. you could say that in that sense it was kind of a mm-hmm. burnout kind of thing at that point of time so this moment had to happen right so when i was there it just i just got of sort of relieved of all that pressure and it made me look at my life in a different way right so bus i don't know what happened i just thought ki i'll start getting back into music so mm-hmm. when i went back home i picked up my guitar you know then i slowly set up a home studio wow. where i'm sitting right now right and i bought uh, added some gear i added some softwares uh, so i even started my youtube channel it's called jorox j o e r o c k s and on that channel i started putting up videos right yourself ab main yeah. aaj main wo videos dekhta to mujhe sharam aati hai ha. but at least i made a start <laughs> that happens but, uh, yeah <laughs> so but the positive feedback that i was getting from my peers you know that really encouraged me ki you know just keep going with the flow right so so this really fired me up to continue doing so right but you know my problem was that um i was i am equally mm. passionate about radiology right so mm. you no know, people said that you know you want to continue with your passion mm. why don't you take few you know jaldi aa jao hospital se be ah, ah. leaves le lo right but honestly i i didn't think i was doing justice to that my job as well by doing that so there were these two boats you know with my two legs ah, hanging ah. in those two you know areas of passion so i had to make a call right so in 2019 which was you know 6 years after i had that sort of epiphany okay is when i decided that you know i'll take a vrs and take a complete break from medicine actually and focus on my music uh aside from that you know there are a lot of other reasons but uh, this being the main one i would also say that it also depends upon the kind of personality you are right you know, like so i for one always found it difficult to work for someone or you know be pressured to always keep proving myself based upon you know the conventional mechanisms of assessment uh uh-huh. and so you know just let me leave it at that yeah <laughs> but yeah, this uh-huh. was another this was another important reason why i you know changed careers wonderful yeah wonderful and i hope one day i am able to you know follow your example because i find this this particular step that you took i mean this is something which totally stunned me at that time and yet uh, it made me think you know and i'm sure it makes all of us think yeah like i am i am wondering like you said that uh, did you feel it's a risk of Aage course it was kuch, of course jai. yeah of course it mm-hmm. was it was a big risk mm-hmm. um and they were plenty of people around me to remind me of that yeah <laughs> because you know uh, especially at that age lagta hai to yeah but yeah, like you yeah. you your i'm sure your conviction your passion for your music was was probably bigger than you know that feeling of that it's a risk or something yep. like that right and what is interesting is that you took this decision and at the same time uske kuch din baad hi covid pandemic aa gaya right ji yeah so, uh, the timing was such did you yeah. feel that god was testing you did you feel that bilkul uh, galat time tha what did you feel at that time those you know especially it was a lockdown period tha i want to know that yeah you know um, i think 
although i don't really believe in you know god or i'm like i'm an atheist that way but uh, i think there is this higher power or vibration energy which is always has a plan mm-hmm. right so ab isko aap destiny bol do but destiny is leaving it everything to the other power right but if you are taking steps and if you are getting that response and if you think going with the flow is making you happy you know that is the paramount thing that if you always have something else other than happiness as the goal it will never work right so that was the overriding kind of principle which i was going by to wo mere ko us tarah se you know like i would say that i got into medicine i continued being at ams because na- money was never in the equation right so us tarah se bahut simple tha mere liye transcend karna into music because when i went into music i thought again it's for the happiness not for not for the money let let money or whatever fame as you may call it you know let it be a by product Right. So, um, so yeah, one planned for it, and I was really looking forward to when I, you know, left in two thousand nineteen, and then two thousand twenty early, you know, that lockdown happened. Uh-huh. Um. So as you said, you know, it was it could have been something which could have been very frustrating. Right. Um. So I was, you know, performing with my band before that, and mm-hmm. with the lockdown, everything kind of came to a standstill. Right. But it turned out to be a blessing in disguise, and I will say that. for two reasons mm-hmm. one because i started spending a lot of time upgrading my skills okay you know, as i mentioned i wasn't continuing with music all through mm-hmm. um so mere sath ye hua ki mere ko apna purpose to pata chal gaya ki mujhe music banana hai par maine abhi tak utne adequate steps nahi liye the okay you know? even though as i mentioned i was upgrading my skills but it wasn't at the pace i would have because mm-hmm. i was also in aims at that time right right, right. but now this was like 24 hours right okay. so you are in this kind of a garage which is this place mm-hmm. and you have your keyboards on one side and your guitars and tune sab kuch khareed liya boss ab to isko kuch kaam to kar iske sath aisa tha right so then i started doing that i in fact i also learned a music video editing in fact most of the videos that you see on my channel are all edited by me right and this really helped my growth mm-hmm. and uh, secondly i was writing music um uh, but that music was more to do with mainstream okay right? uh i had recently made this transition from medicine to music and this pandemic happened to mujhe laga ki why not use my um uh, you know creativity right and the background that i have yeah. to you know educate people about mm. this uh, you know this particular situation and the kind of work that the healthcare professionals are doing mm. right one second na huh? yeah through the songs hmm. right so that's when i released a song which was kahe gabrai kahe gabrai was the song which was i remember i also yeah. danced on it you know yep. you, you sent that song to all of us and we all uh, did one step each you remember how we actually made a video because at that yeah. time it was like april where uh, even you know zara sab it could have come in the news exactly. that people at aims are enjoying themselves or you know yeah, we floating all norms yeah. yeah but then we did it that way as you said you know so mm-hmm. we were we recorded videos from people dancing at their homes right so that was kahe gabrai mm-hmm. and then after that the next year i came out with a song when vaccination started which was called agresor which was to motivate people to get vaccinated so these are the two songs which you know amongst the many which i made for healthcare workers yeah uh, of course i released some songs which were on other social health issues like there was this song called tohi data which is on organ donation okay there was one on mental health called kad Okay, and all of these, you know, got featured somewhere or the other, and yeah. got me. I'm really grateful for the appreciation that I got for that. Mm-hmm. So, pandemic was bad, but it turned out okay for me. <laughs> I remember I used to uh, communicate with you during the pandemic, and you were so cheerful all the time. And I used to always feel very inspired, you know, because I thought here is this person who has taken this enormous risk just before the pandemic, and he is, you know, like you just now said, you. you use a spirit for your growth and that is commendable because mostly somebody else would have just gotten extremely depressed and you you use that opportunity that is so so inspiring i remember uh, dr gurpreet i have even written in, in dragonfly's purpose that uh, you were one of the very few people who encouraged me a lot uh, you know right after my helen barre syndrome um, uh, when i was uh, almost paralyzed and then i was coming back to 
to uh, normal C and that time I took uh, part in this dance competition. My my legs used to, you know, they used to tremble while I was dancing. And yes. you used to actually just come very sensitively. You used to say, do this, don't do that. I I was I used to get so, so, so uh, thankful, so inspired, so encouraged. And this is one thing I want to tell everybody about you, that you are absolutely humble despite being so talented and uh, so popular. You are one of the most popular persons I know. You are so humble, so helpful to towards everybody. You know, there, there have been instances which people have come and told me that you've helped them so much. And I really, really appreciate this about you, you know. Thank and you so much. I want to know, uh, what kind of advice would you give to young people? You know, our, especially the young generation. Uh, you know, I see the new uh, people in their 20s. They are thinking about their passion. And then there is this big question of profession. What would you say to them? Mm, yeah, so that's... That's a tough one. Um, I think as a general statement, I would say that whatever one does, you know, do it with passion and dedication. Um, avoid the naysayers like the plague, you know, just, yeah. just go with it, man. I mean, even if it involves changing two or three different streams, mm -hmm. if you are really finding it ultimately, that's what matters. Or bahut log mana karenge, ye nahi kar sakta, ye galat hai, isse terko ye nahi milega, isme paise nahi hai, whatever, right? So just avoid those people. Yeah. But at the same time, take responsibility for your actions. You know? That's very important. And, yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, let your failures be your guide, man. I mean, don't just look at what you got today, what you Of the hundred failures, you will get one, you know, success. So keep that in mind. So the failures will be the ones which will, you know, teach you much more. And let happiness be the goal, as I said, not money or fame. If you <laughs> ask me about, yeah. uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, please continue. I'll ask her something after you finish. Okay. Hmm. And if you ask me about those who would want to be, you know, switching careers or looking at alternative career options, um, I would say that um, unless you're extremely driven or you're extremely talented hmm. or you or both, hmm. um, don't switch just on a whim. Yeah, that's very important. I can say this from experience, uh, not just for music, but for any art form. This holds true that it's very rare for someone to be able to survive and even modestly so, right. on that being the only source of income. Right, right. That's... Uh, you would have to have some kind of a day job for a few years before yeah. you, you know, you have to save up money before you leave. Absolutely. And, and even if it's a hobby, you know, all of these hobbies are expensive, right? Absolutely. Uh, and if you want to do it with seriousness and some degree of perfection, they would need investment. And for that reason, you would need a day job. Uh, this will also be a period where you can learn to experiment, take risks with your art, which you would have not because then you would be playing safe because then you want to use it to make money, right? So, right. You can do this huh. And or kuch pata nahi, you, know, you might even get a reality check that this music or whatever art form is not really your own thing. You know, it's maybe not for you. Yeah. Is this, but then if you finally realize that this art is something that doesn't let you sleep, you know, that pull is irresistible and the feedback that you're getting is encouraging enough. No, then you plan your plunge carefully. Absolutely. Uh, so, so what I wanted to ask you was that Archkal, you see social media is ruling our life and uh, we see um, only successes being posted all the time, all the time, all the time. Yeah. And uh, then I see you who goes deep, you know, you literally um, disappear for days, you make your music, then come back with it. I see you just, you know, not getting affected by uh, people around you by the constant need to, uh, you know, constantly keep on posting, posting, posting your successes. You literally hibernate when you make new music and then you come back with it. So tell me something about that. How do you uh, keep your uh, yourself grounded and, uh, you know, calm and not affected by everything that's going around? Um, so one big thing that changed when I started getting into music was that I got a lot of me time. Hmm. You know? And during this time, I was, yes, initially there was that pressure to perform. Hmm. And uh, I did, you know, sort of advertise things and, you know, hmm. let people know that this is something which I'm doing. I'm right. coming up with this and I'm performing there or there. But especially when pandemic happened. Now, I think it's happened to a lot of us that we've had a lot of time to reflect upon ourselves. Introspect, or, yeah. And during this time, I realized that, you know, it's not just about what you, sh 
what you uh, tell people about what you're doing. Right. It's also about how good you are at it to begin with. Right. right. Um, so it's very uh, crucial that you develop your craft, get good at it, feel happy about it yourself first, and hmm. then go out and you know yeah. uh, show it to people. So I'll take an example of this, the last song which I released, which was called Waterloo. Okay. Uh, if I had been, say, maybe when I was in the beginning of my music, say three years back, I would have been right from the beginning of when I got that idea of making the song when I came back from that trip, which inspired me is to Shuru say, you know, like, okay, today I wrote this lines today. I thought of making the music or I'm going to work with this guy to make the further of this, the parts of this song and whatever it's releasing here. It's releasing there. So then I thought, Ki, yaar, is sab se mujhe kya mil raha hai? Mm. you know, and believe me, Sujata, nobody cares about you, what you do, how you do it. Nobody cares. Right. It's not that validation aapko mil bhi rahi hai, no, asli hai. Nahi hai. It's Haan. not it's not the it's not the real thing, right? It's not the real thing. And even if people are saying or feeling good about it, they forget in a second year. They forget. That's true. They, they forget. And ultimately aapko khudi ko answerable hona hai. Aapko khudi jo aapne banaya, usse aapko khush hona hai. Right. So these you know, so that period of being able to reflect upon oneself and I think any art form helps you do that right. um, because there's a lot of uh, philosophical as philosophical aspect to any art form. Like when you write a book, right, mm -hmm. you get into that period of yeah, that, what we call as that spirit of consciousness. Right. right? right. And in right. that spirit of consciousness, you just let your fingers write, right? Absolutely. You may initially write four, five, six pages, and then you actually read and realize ki achha, pehle to aapko vishwas nahi aapne likha hai. Ah. फिर आपको लगता है कि इसको अब मैं सुन समझ तो पा रही हूं बट मैं दूसरे को कैसे समझाऊं कि मैं क्या कहना चाहती हूं तो फिर आप वहां पे उस पे वर्क करते हो तो ये जो पीरियड है ना व्हिच इज दैट बीइंग इन द मोमेंट राइट इन दैट यू नो टाइम व्हिच यू हैव दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ योर ग्रोथ एंड इट्स दैट इज दैट दैट्स व्हेन यू एक्चुअली रियलाइज कि एवरीथिंग एल्स इज नॉट वर्थ इट व्हाट यू आर डूइंग राइट नाउ द काइंड ऑफ आर्ट यू आर मेकिंग द हाउ इट इज अपीलिंग टू यू how it is changing the things around you when you actually let it out to people that makes you realize that actually there's nothing beyond nothing beyond that, this. that creativity and how you feel about it it's you and your art it's you and your passion it's yeah. a relationship between you and your passion you know Absolutely. it's not the relationship between you and the people you know exactly exactly ah, that's really what i meant right right so, aajkal hum ye dekh rahe hain you know people who write hmm. or people who dance or people who make music are more concerned about whether I'm making, first of all, something that people will like. Yeah. Or am I, am I advertising it enough? Hmm. Usme kya ho ki you're compromising upon your quality. Absolutely. And you're also making yourself not be that long lasting. So hmm. these are all things which, you know, I feel that it's more important to be doing good work. And, yeah. and it's important to advertise, but yeah. not, yeah. not from the beginning. Once yeah. you're satisfied yourself. Yeah. And you have to be true to yourself, I think. That's what's yes. important. Correct. Wonderful, uh, Dr. Gurpreet. I feel I have so many more questions, but uh, time is um, constraining me and I want to invite you again, maybe with yeah. more questions. And I've enjoyed this so much. I can't tell you how much. And it's mm -hmm. I've also felt, as always, I've always uh, felt so inspired by you, you know. And all the, uh, you know, noise that I have around me seems yeah. to die down, you know. Uh, the chaos dies down when I'm, interacting with you when I'm getting inspired by you I feel as though I'm a very enlightened soul so you know and I right. feel that I'm learning so much you're just being too kind yeah absolutely not you know now I should say I've even mentioned this in my book also should say I always say that uh, you are one you're an enlightened soul and a guiding light for so many of us thank you thank you I'm still getting there <laughs> I'm not even one person there. like I said you're very humble so thank you so much and it's been a great pleasure to have you on our channel and I'm sure a lot of people are going to benefit from whatever you've spoken today. Thanks Thank a lot. So much. And all the best to your journey as well. Thank you. Thanks a ton. Thank you.